What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a story time of a spoiled kid that sets the subscriber's house on fire because he was banned from playing tag because uh, he was cheating the whole time. So yeah, subscribe if you're new, leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing. And with that all being said, I know you'll enjoy this video slash story, so let's just jump right into it. So anyways, right, the subscriber was having a birthday party. And uh, in the subscriber school, he was told by the teachers, and the teachers told the parents that you need to invite everyone. If you don't invite everyone, someone's gonna feel bad. And like, I definitely understand like the rationale behind that because you know, if everyone else in your in your grades invited to a party, but you're not, you're probably gonna feel pretty bad. But look, dude, all I'm saying is sometimes, sometimes, it's like there's a reason why you're not inviting someone, bro. That's all I'm saying. So anyways, though, uh, yeah, the subscriber's mom informed him that everyone's showing up, everyone's coming, and that, you know, there's nothing he can do about it, except he's gonna have a good time, because, you know, he likes everyone in his class. The subscriber also goes to a school with a relatively small class size, so this isn't like, oh, you, you know, you have to have a birthday party with 200 people, it's like 25 people or something. So anyways, right, sure enough, you know, the subscriber's like, all right, whatever. There was this really just one kid they didn't want to invite, which is the spoiled kid. And yeah, the same spoiled kid that almost ends up burning down his entire house because he got caught cheating and banned from playing tag, but that's for later on in the story. Anyways, though, so uh, yeah, sure enough, right, the subscriber's like, all right, fine, whatever, uh, let's just find some fun activities, let's get this thing going, and... Uh, Let's just fast forward to the day of the party. So it's like a Saturday morning, Saturday, more afternoon. We'll say Saturday afternoon. You know, the subscribers wait, like sitting there kind of excited. Uh, there's a few activities. Like when people come, they can put their presents down on the table. And then once basically everyone's there, the, the whole theme is like the subscriber is a huge fan of tag and he takes it like very seriously, like an actual sport. So, you know, they, uh, they decided that, you know, they were going to stop at his house, but next to his house, um, if you walk, like, two minutes from the subscriber's house, there's, like, a big, massive, like, field that leads into a forest. So, that basically, they're going to have a massive tag competition, and this tag competition is uh, everywhere in the field, everywhere in the backyard of the house, and also a little bit of the forest, but you're instructed you can't go past the first two rows of trees. So, you can't go more than, like, 20 feet into the forest, just for, like, safety's sake. Anyways, though, so yeah, sure enough, people start coming in, the subscribers saying, like, what's up, and then eventually, the spoiled kid comes in. Okay, so you guys might be thinking, why is the subscriber, like, so mean? Why does he hate the spoiled kid so much? The spoiled kid deserves better. No, 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 this is just simply not the case, dude. I understand why you're probably thinking, oh, man, the subscriber's so mean, like, he can't be doing this. No, you gotta understand, the spoiled kid is a whole different breed. I mean, this kid is actually the worst. I mean, also, remember, this is another case where I, I say this every single time, but whenever it's like, you know, you know, one of these kids who's acting kind of bad, it's like, can you really blame the kid and or can or do you blame the parents? Right. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like the kid is autonomous only to uh, only to a certain degree. And a lot of it is on the parents still. Anyways, though. So, yeah, sure enough. Right. The spoiled kid comes in. And most of the class is kind of, like, given the side eye, like, massive side eye, like, mm, what's the spoiled kid doing here? Yeah, kind of stuff along those lines. And, yeah, so sure enough, right, the subscribers kind of just, like, uh, like kind of, like, turns one of his friends, and his friend, we'll call him, like, Ty, right? And Ty is, Ty's like, dude, I know you had to invite everyone, but did you have to invite everyone with, like, I don't know, massive pronunciation on the everyone part of everyone? And the subscriber's like, look, dude, look, I know I don't totally want to, him to be here either, but, you know, it's the school's rules, and I think we might get in trouble or something. And my mom was very, was very much about having everyone come, so, yeah, we're just going to have a good time no matter what. And, you know, Ty turns him and is like, dude, you know he's going to cheat the entire time. And so the subscriber's like, well, if he decides to cheat, then that's honestly on him, and we're just going to not let him play if he cheats. And the subscriber's friend Ty is like, all right, man, like, don't say I didn't warn you, which, I mean, here's the thing. While Ty did technically warn him, Ty didn't warn him that this kid was going to try and burn down his house out of anger and frustration. Like, there's levels to this, bro. There's levels to this. 
Yeah, in all fairness, it's not as if I saw would have seen this coming either. I don't know about you guys, but if I had a birthday party and this kid was cheating and we all decided to collectively ban him for cheating and then he decides to go burn down my house, I wouldn't see that coming. You know, I just simply would not see that coming. Anyways, though, so yeah, sure enough, everyone's there. Um, or ba yeah, so everyone, by the time everyone gets there, the subscriber, like, kind of tells his mom, like, hey, I think everyone's here. And his mom's like, all right. So that's when the subscriber's mom kind of rounds everyone up and is like, hey guys, like, I just want to let you know that I think everyone is here. And so the main activity of this birthday party will be a big tag competition. Uh, you know, it's, uh, and then she goes on to say, okay, the field's good. Two tree lengths into the forest is good. You probably don't want to go into the forest because uh, if you can only go two tree lengths in, then you're probably, you know, you're probably going to like, you know, get stuck there. You said also the backyard is fine. And so, and she says, all right, well, we're going to pick, like, a random person to be it. And, you know, she has a big hat of names. And so, you know, the subscriber's mom has this kind of, like, sorting hat from Harry Potter type thing. Has printed out a bunch of basically everyone's names into, like, little fortune cookie fortune type things. Strips. And so she kind of, ru like, rummages around in there. Pulls out a name. Actually happens to be the subscriber's name. Which the subscriber is not, like, he prefers not to be it. But he also understands that, like... I don't know. Even though it is his birthday, he told his mom, make sure to put my name in there too. I want it to be fair. And well, fair is fair. And if this is just how it goes, then this is just how it goes. And the subscriber's like, all right, well, I mean, I didn't equal chance. Everyone had an equal chance of being it. It's just unfortunate that I'm the first one, but there's going to be multiple games. So the subscriber's like, okay, um, everyone, I'm going to count to... I don't know, like he said, I think maybe 60 or something like that. I'm going to count to 60. You guys can go out into my backyard. Uh, you guys can go out into the field and a little bit into the forest, but can't go beyond two trees. And when I'm done counting to 60, then I'm going to come after you guys. If I tag you, you are it and just come back in the, and come back in the house, chill here. There'll be like snacks and activities. So basically, if you got tagged, it actually isn't the worst thing. And if any of the kids aren't trying to play tag or anything and just want to have some of the snacks, then they'll just make themselves really easy to get tagged. Anyways, though, so the subscriber's like, all right, go out. Everyone rushes out, and the subscriber counts to 60. Once the subscriber's done counting to 60, he kind of, like, surveys his, like, the surroundings. And so some of the people, um, they, they decide to hide. So I know when I was, like, playing this game, it really depended on the environment, like, 100%. And by that, I mean in some environments, like, it is better to hide because there's really good hiding spots and you could, like, save a lot. You could, it's a better strategy, but also realize that sometimes it's actually a better strategy to not hide because, remember, if you're hiding, you might put yourself in a really compromised position for, like, tag. Like, if someone starts sprinting after you, like, if you're hiding, you might, like, hold that position for way too long and then be, like, I don't know, really easy target if they know where you're at. But sometimes it's like if you don't hide, you have the most flexibility because they start running at you. You just run the other direction. And maybe, you know, the person next to you that's hiding now can't run away. Anyways, though, so like half the kids were hiding. Um, some of them in the forest line, which is kind of questionable. Um, some of them were like in like the tall grass or whatever. But some of the kids were just standing up. I think there was like one kid who was just like ready to be tagged. He's like, all right, man, like you got me, whatever. And so, yeah, he goes in and has the snacks. That's my boy. Anyways, though, so yeah, sure enough, the subscriber starts running after people and is actually pretty good. Remember, the subscriber takes tags super seriously. So one of the people that happens to be tagged right away is the spoiled kid. And so a lot of people are witnessing this, right? And the spoiled kid gets tagged and the subscriber's like, all right, man, got you. And the spoiled kid's like, no, -uh, you didn't get me. And he just like continues to run away. And like even one of the kids next to him who was just tagged like, nah, dude, I saw him got I saw him get you like he had very clear like hand on clothing like it's pretty clear that he got you and the spoiled kid's like no I didn't feel it so it didn't count and the subscriber's like I don't know man like uh I'm pretty sure that it counts like if I touch your clothing not if you feel it like I don't, I don't I've never played a game of tag where it's like oh if you felt it or not and you just play by the honor code there like I don't know man a little suspect to me yeah so sure enough right um, at this point, the spoiled kid just runs away, and the subscriber looks at, like, the guy who he just got, and the guy who he just got kind of, like, shrugs his shoulders, like, I don't know, man, like, like, that's mad tough, I don't know what to say. So anyways, right, sure enough, the subscriber kind of brushes this off, it's like, okay, next time I get the spoiled kid, I'm gonna have to really get him. Just so it's, like, so obvious that, like, you can't, like, 
you, you can't say I didn't get you, right? So anyways, the subscriber goes off and he kind of goes into the tree line because he realizes that a lot of people are hiding there and it's like, okay, man, don't be hiding in the tree line. Like that's really just where you're going to get sniped real good. Um, that's all I'm saying. So uh, he goes in there, basically gets everyone doing that. And uh, yeah, so anyways, right, the subscriber, sure enough, you know, gets about like eight people. They start walking back and the people are walking back. So they're able to see when the subscriber gets the spoiled kid again. So the subscriber runs up and he tags the spoiled kid because the spoiled kid's not that fast. And the subscriber like legitimately trains on the weekends to be better at tag. Like you guys might be thinking, okay, okay, man, this is a little bit extreme. It's just tag. Relax. And I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Um, but yeah, so the spoil kid's got, and this time the subscriber like legitimately like wraps his arms around the spoil kid and says like, I got you. And the spoil kid says no. And the subscriber starts holding on to the spoil kid. So the spoil kid can't even run away. He's like, you didn't get me. You didn't get me. And the spoil kid's like, technically, uh, we are not touching since nothing actually touches anything, according to my physics teacher. And the subscriber's like, okay, well, I, I, I'm, he's like, well, that's not how we're playing this. We're not, we're not doing that. And the spoiled kids, well, actually, and he's like trying to be a Reddit mod or something. So all the other kids that are walking back to like the outstation with all the snacks, which is actually a pretty chill outstation, if you ask me, like y'all got a bunch of snacks, like actually tag me out, bro. Oh my God. I just inhaled my face. Anyways, sorry. Uh, any. <laughs> Uh, no explanation for that, by the way. Uh, yeah, so a anyways, though, all those kids walking back are noticing what's going on, and they're like, yeah, spoil kid, like, he got you. And the spoil kid's like, no, he did not get me. That's ridiculous. He's very clearly not getting, and it's so obvious that he's being tagged out right now, too. So everyone else is like, dude, come on. Real quick, comment tag if you made it this far into the video. And while you're down in the comment section, actually go ahead and comment down below uh, what you're doing while watching these videos or how many videos you've watched today. The best way you can support the channel is by binge watching the videos. And on screen in a second, here's an example of one of the comments. I binge watch your videos every day. And so, yeah, also, if you're in the comment section down below, check out the link in the description and the pinned comment is a link to the Spotify. Uh, the Spotify is the place where I upload as well. If you use Spotify, I'd love it if you'd listen on there too. Anyways, let's get right back to it. So the group of kids that are walking back, you know, and saying, hey man, spoil kid, obviously, obviously bro like you're getting it like you're like bro it's so obvious that like he got you one of the kids is ty and like ty kind of looks at the subscriber and it's like all right like and he kind of looks at all the other kids he's like motion to ban the spoiled kid if he doesn't accept our ruling basically saying to the spoiled kid we're gonna ban you from playing this game if you don't do what we say because you're cheating and everyone raises their hands and the spoiled kid's like so if I if, if I admit that, you know, you guys are right, which you're not, th th then, you know, he said, so the spoiled kids just start stuttering, right? And the subscriber's like, look, man, we, we can't have someone like causing friction like this. I mean, it's pretty clear to everyone that you did get out. Like, it's just pretty obvious. The spoiled kid's like, no, it's not, because it didn't happen. And the subscriber's like, bro, it really did happen, though. And the, subscri and the, you know, the subscriber's like, look, if you don't accept, like, our ruling, which is pretty obvious, like, you're, you're just not going to be allowed to play. And the spoiled kid's like, fine, I don't want to play your stupid game anyways. And the spoiled kid sprints inside the house, right? At this point, the subscriber's like, oh, well, that's awkward. However, the subscriber thinks, okay... That's awkward. He doesn't think anything more of it. Like, the subscriber doesn't think for a second that the spoiled kid's about to go into the kitchen and grab any uh, suspicious supplies, right? Um, <laughs> so anyways, the first game of Tag is finished. They all kind of recoup into the kitchen, and the spoiled kid's not there. And the subscriber's thinking, okay, well, he's probably pouting in a corner somewhere. Personally, I don't really care, so I'm going to let him do what he wants to do. Uh, anyways, though, but the spoiled kid was not pouting in any corner. The spoiled kid had went into the kitchen, grabbed the lighter, and went into the bathroom. And uh, if you don't know what's in the bathroom, uh, it's a lot of toilet paper. It's a lot of, like, flammable toilet paper, right? So they're all kind of chilling, and they're all preparing for the next game of tag. And uh, one of the people was like, oh, where did the spoiled kid go? And the Ty, the subscriber's friend's like, look, we had to ban him. He was cheating mad hard. Like, that's just what happened. And they're like, oh, okay, but why isn't he here? And they're like, I don't know. He's probably pouting in a corner somewhere, which is probably what he was doing. 
Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, the subscriber's like, okay, well, uh, let's start the next game. So they go out, and they do another game, and the subscriber's mom comes over and draws the spoiled kid's name out of the hat. And she's like, oh, where is the spoiled kid? And the su subscriber's like, well, he was cheating pretty hard last game, so we told him if he didn't stop cheating or, like, admitted to cheating, right, that we wouldn't let him play again. And he refused to admit that he was in the wrong, so... We're not playing with him. And the subscriber's mom's like, okay. I think the subscriber's mom was partly like, oh, just let him play and ignore me or whatever. But she also gets like, okay, not going to let one kid ruin it. And if he doesn't want to do it, the rest of the kids say, whatever, not really my time to step in. Fair enough. So sure enough, right, the subscriber's mom picks another name out of the hat. It's someone else. And they all go out and hide. So the subscriber, right, since he knew, you know, he's been planning this for a while. So he has, like, the best hiding spot possible. He has, like, he's already planned out the routes. He's already been training for months for his, uh, you know, his birthday party, whatever. So he is winning this game. He already knows he's winning, right? So about halfway through the game, he just, like, something, he just thinks, like, where is this? It just, like, randomly crosses his mind. He's like, where is the spoiled kid? Like, where even is him? Like, where is he? So the thing is, though... The subscriber, since he wasn't paying attention for, like, he was thinking about the spoiled kids, so he was distracted. Um, the person who was it was actually able to sneak up behind him and tag him out. And the subscriber's like, what? Because he thought he was going to win, bro. He thought he was going to win easily. But the spoiled kid actually distracted him here without even being there. And the subscriber's like, all right, well, I mean, I'm not going to cheat. And there's also going to be more games, so I, I'll, I'll just win the next one. So the subscriber starts to walk into the house. And as the subscriber's walking into the house, he starts to, like, he, he's just thinking more, like, where is the spoiled kid? So there's a few other kids out, and they're kind of at the snack bar type place, whatever, where everyone's chilling who's been out. And the subscriber's like, hey, man, and goes up to one of the kids there. We'll call him Ben. He's like, hey, Ben, like, has the spoiled kid come through? And Ben's like, nah, man, I haven't seen him since, you know, we kicked him out of the last game. And the subscriber's like, hmm. And the subscriber... Is like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom because he does need to go to the bathroom. So the subscriber starts walking down the hallway. And as he's walking down the hallway, he sees some suspicious, suspicious black smoke coming out of the bathroom. And he's immediately like, oh, my God. So he runs over to the kitchen to find where his mom is at. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, uh, the subscriber goes into the other room, finds his mom. is like, mom, 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 like, you need to come with me. And she's like, okay. And so the subscriber, like, pulls, him, pulls her down the hallway into the bathroom. And, yeah, that's where they see smoke coming out of the hallway, like, out of the door. And the mom's like, oh, my God. So she runs in. Like, the door is locked. She starts, like, pulling on the door. She's like, open this up. Open this up. And so eventually, like, the door opens up and the spoiled kid runs out. And so the subscriber watches the spoiled kid runs into the other room. And his mom goes in there and he goes in there and they see where the smoke is coming from. So what the spoiled kid had done is he was so angry that he was banned for cheating that he went into the kitchen, grabbed the lighter, and then went into the bathroom and, like, un like unspooled the entire roll of toilet paper, put it all into a trash can, and set it on fire. So that thing was, like, on, like, in flames, right? Because toilet paper is pretty flammable. So immediately, like, her mom's like, oh, my God. Subscriber's mom runs into the kitchen, goes under the sink, gets the flame, the flame, <laughs> yeah, she gets the flamethrower, guys, and burns down the rest of the, no, she gets the fire extinguisher, not the flamethrower, polar opposite, she gets the fire extinguisher, and, uh, sprays it into the, the, uh, you know, the, the, the trash can, sets off, the, sets out the fire, um, does not get the flamethrower, so anyways, the subscriber, though, is trying to run after the spoil kid, so the spoil kid is running around the house, and is screaming, fire time, fire time. And eventually, the subscriber runs the other way and catches him as the spoiled kid's running in the opposite direction and stops him there and, like, grabs him and basically tackles him to the floor. He's like, ow, the subscriber is hurting me. Which, like, I think normally maybe the subscriber's mom or the other parents would be like, no, subscriber, get off of him. But, I mean, this kid did, did just try and burn down the entire school, uh, the entire house. So, I mean... Their sympathy is a little bit, a little bit waning, you know what I mean? So yeah, sure enough, right, the subscriber's mom uh, calls up the spoiled kid's mom and explains what happens, which 
Not necessarily what you'd expect on a normal day. On, oh yeah, my son went to his friend's birthday party. Oh, he tried to burn down the house because he was mad? Sure, of course. Spoiled kid's mom comes, super apologetic, super mad at the spoiled kid. And uh, yeah, uh, the birthday party's actually not super ruined because they are able to go on to have a few more games of tag and the subscriber pretty handily wins the next few games. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the videos on screen right now. If you're listening on Spotify, listen to another story.